Hi, I'm David Hine, Trust for Life Direct Seating Manager. Trust for Life is a not-for-profit organisation formed in South Australia in 1981. Since 1981, Trust for Life has helped get 40 million plants back into South Australia's landscape. Trust for Life's goal is to protect and enhance South Australia's native vegetation. We do this through revegetating cleared and degraded land with direct seeding and tube stock, controlling weeds in bush land, engaging with the community to provide training in all aspects of bush care work, and getting volunteers into the field to carry out some of this work. In South Australia this summer, we have had four major bushfires and lots of minor fires with over 200,000 hectares burnt and the summer is still not over. While some of our bushland will regenerate, the fires burnt so hot that there are large areas that will not recover. Our bushland is not the only thing to suffer. With our farmers that have been planting shelter belts and paddock trees for stock protection being burnt out as well. Since the bushfires, we have been inundated with calls from landholders whose property were burnt for assistance. Our country needs help to get our bushland back and restore the habitat for our native animals and birds. Farmers also need assistance to get their stock shield back. Trees for Life has up to date direct seeding equipment that can do large projects, but the biggest problem we are facing in South Australia is climate change, and this is affecting the seed productivity of our native species. Large amounts of native seed are becoming much harder to get. Our seeding techniques, while very successful, do require large amounts of seed. We've been looking at ways to use less seed with the same result, but unfortunately do not have the funds to make major changes. The drone seeding system with the pelletised seed would be a way to make our precious seed go further and so revegetate larger areas of our country. Trees for Life are committed to helping all parts of South Australia recover, both bushland and agricultural properties. South Australia needs your help.